As we talked way back in the beginning, this is a, a painting of textures. And so we have to come back through now with our, our shines and figure out what needs more of a shine because of the, the texture. So I'm starting off with warm white and adding lighter lights. You want to have a, because of the upper right light source, it has to be the lightest up in here. And then light that goes all the way the length of this post. But in this area, just, just a film. Over on this side, kind of that same idea, just not as light and as bright because we're removed from the light source. In the, the lower section, again we want to have that light running the length. Now the paint for the shadows was diluted a little bit with some of the, the paint thinner. The shines, that is not necessary. And if you don't want to use your finger to diffuse out the, the paint, you certainly could use a clean brush. That's about all of the shine that you would want on those posts. Notice nothing on the back. Then we want a real warm yellow tint, light bright shine on this front edge. That's really sticking out there and it's going to catch some serious light. Maybe spark up the gold sections one more time with just yellow. A little bit in the back. hurt to reflect a little bit of that into the into the glass itself. Now we need to shine the glass one more time. So let's zoom in on that area. going to spark those original light areas. I think I'm going to switch to my little 3 out spotter brush just because I can get in there really nice and tight. just hitting those areas that are in the path of the light.
doesn't hurt to spark the leaves one more time. I picked up a little bit more yellow because if they if they look chalky then you need a little bit more yellow. So there is the the highlights on that section. Then we just have a we did a little bit on our maybe a, a little lot, I don't know. But we can come back one more time and with the warm white and just spark up any area that's in the path of light. So in other words, we're probably won't do too much with anything that's in the back. Stems looking a little lost. Pull that forward just a little bit. Like I said, you can walk your way through and look for all those different areas that could have a little bit of light. One place I forgot on the let's move back down to the to the quilt. If we put a little bit of white or light on this edge here, that will help with that bend. And we could put a little bit of light from the glass onto the book and then the light is just passing through and so it's actually shining a little bit of light down onto that cloth. Glass is such a fun subject because the the path just keeps on going and going. Okay, I think all we have left to do is there's some little yellow flowers that just soften the whole thing. So let's go ahead and put those in.